Hello friends, welcome to today's lecture and today we are going to discuss ab about some S3 concepts. So let's begin with the first one. So we have different concepts under this. Uh, the first is cross region replication and the other is S3 transfer acceleration. But today we are going to take a look at cross region replication. So let's get started with the concept first. So replication enables automatic asynchronous copying of object across Amazon S3 buckets. So let's understand what replication is. So replication simply means if you have one copy of data, and uh, now this, this, let's say this is a database. And the moment I write to this database, it should be returned to other copy of database. Now this is an example of database that I'm talking about. So let's say we have you know two databases, database A, database B. I would write only to database A. The moment I make an entry or I write anything, any data in database A, the same should be replicated or copied back to database B. And this should happen automatically. That is called replication. So there has to be a replication of data between A and B databases. That is what we mean by replication. And we would be writing anyways to one database. Here, we are applying the same replication logic to S3 bucket, so S3, which is a storage. So replication enables automatic asynchronous copying of object across Amazon S3 buckets. So let's say we have two buckets and if there is a replication enabled between these two, so what would happen is whatever data is there in uh, first S3, uh, let's say S3 bucket A and S3 bucket B, whatever data we have in, whatever we push in A would be copied to B. That simply it means. Object may be replicated to a single destination bucket or multiple destination buckets. So this statement says that let's say we have bucket A and we have implemented replication in few other buckets, B, C, D, E. So all this uh, rest of the four buckets, there is a replication implemented between A and B, A and C, A and D, A and E. So as A is a common source bucket. The moment I push data into A, this data would be copied into the, or replicated into other buckets, B, C, D and E. So it can be copied to a multiple destinations. So single destination or multiple destination, you can say. Destination bucket can be in a different AWS region or within the same region as the source bucket. Now, destination bucket, uh, um, in IAM also we studied like there are different regions. So AWS services are you know spread into different regions and you can have, while S3 is a global service, S3 bucket is global service, but you can, create a bucket in different regions. Like in Asia, we have Mumbai and a few other as well. Um, but uh, in US, we have multiple. We have US East 1, US East 2. Uh, we, uh, that you would see in AWS accounts. Once we get into AWS account, I'll show you the different regions. So you can have uh, implement the replication between these buckets into different region or in the same region. So two buckets can be in the same region, let's say in Mumbai region, or the two buckets, the source and destination bucket can be some into some different region as well. Let's say an example, the source bucket is in Mumbai region, while the destination can be in US. Buckets that are configured for object replication can be owned by same AWS account or different AWS accounts. So AWS has built a capability where you can uh, create an or enable replication not only between same AWS account, but also different AWS accounts. That means, let's say this is my source bucket, and this source bucket is belongs to my account, let's say, sham one account now i have another aws account which has got bucket b so these two buckets belongs to different aws account and i st can still implement a uh, cross region replication sorry cross account i would say cross account replication between these two accounts uh, as three buckets of these two different accounts so that's what it simply means let's uh, understand the use case of uh, replication and let's uh, you know understand this picture as well so uh, sometimes, you know, there are static sites. So by static site, it means that your front end won't change. The, the front page is same. Okay. And in, in, in those cases, you can keep those static pages in your S3. So what happens? Let's, let's say uh, I have a server in US region and I had a bucket in US region. Okay. Now it's a, I have a static website. So all the content is in uh, US region and uh, my static website accesses the con content from S3, which is again in US region. Now, what happens is if I have uh, audience from US region, 
the request would uh, re request from other any us or other region would go uh, and fetch the uh, data from s3 bucket but it would be served immediately but let's say i have some audience which is in india so for someone who is in india the request has to traverse down you know uh, through inter internet and fetch the data from bucket which is in us and if there is a latency of course there would be can i reduce that can i point like the uh, the request which was for for indian audience which was going to s3 bucket in us region can i uh, reduce the latency where you know if if i can have a bucket in india region what if you know the request from my indian customers go to that indian uh, the bucket sc bucket which is in india region uh, that can improve a huge uh, you know performance if i talk about how how do i make this happen so what we can do is we can create another bucket in in india region so i'm sorry for this map uh, you can see the bucket is split above but let's assume this bucket is in uh, india region and what we would do is so we have this bucket a and this assume this, this as bucket b we would uh, create uh, replication between these two buckets now what would happen is when i am writing when i am pushing some data i would simply push the data into my source bucket this is bucket 1 but the moment since the replication is implemented the moment i push data into this bucket 1 it would be immediately copied to this bucket 2 and that would happen automatically so some uh, the bucket which is in india and um by using cdn and uh, those logics of course i can do that you know someone accessing uh, uh, someone uh, user or, or audience accessing from india the request can be diverted to this uh, bucket in india uh, so that can be done um, implemented to other logic so we can talk about those in details but the point was like if we could have a single you know instead of having a single bucket if we can have multiple buckets based on the region from where the data is accessed it would uh, you know help us lot in reducing the latency of for serving that request so this is where the replication helps and cross region is simply means you can have buckets this replication within region or within different region as well that's why it the term is called cross region uh, replications so this is what we had uh, for today's lecture hope you enjoyed this one let me know your thoughts and your queries in the comment section see you in the next section goodbye